This is your diamond insight for tonight. Of a hefty annual loss of 635 million US dollars in tax evasion. For any responsible Zambians, finding by the research conducted by the Tax Justice Network is disheartening to learn that the amounts of money are being lost. The report on evasion and avoidance indicates gaps in the Zambia Revenue Authority which must be dealt with the urgency it deserves. Further attention must be given in the TJN report that makes emphasis that to close loopholes there is need for efficient mechanisms that will tackle the criminal syndicate. Honestly, 635 million US dollars, which translates to 11.9 billion kwacha, is an enormous figure to be lost and if it is collected, the revenue would significantly help finance various sectors of the economy that are in desperate need of fiscal support. Recently, ZRA disclosed a commendable gross revenue collection of 27.3 billion kwacha in the first quarter of 2023 compared to 26.5 billion kwacha the previous year. But from the revelation of the TJN research, the tax body is facing leaks that need sealing to contain the alarming losses. We are aware mining is one of the sectors that is giving ZRA headaches because of weak enforcement in the artisanal subsector where evasion of funds needed by the state coffers is rife. However, the problems in mining are well documented and the current disorder in gold mining is an example of an area that has been given lip service while the black market rips from the criminality. It is gross negligence that the annual billions can be lost because of enjoying piecemeal systems to guard against loss of taxpayers' money. In times of economic distress, these are stories that helpless citizens do not want to hear because their belief is that the government has competent officers to stamp out tax evasion. We urge the government to adopt the submission made by a consortium of civil society organizations that have called for the formation of a country position on public international taxation. They are of the view that it will pave way for the stronger support on tax governance accountability.